all right guys welcome back to the channel once again and today we're going to be talking about the new thing inside the grape chase so recently the grape chase has launched one studio one new interface of the builder which is called grape chase studio.com so you can see this tab over here so try grape chase studio so this is new alpha version of the grape chase they have just changed the ui and other stuffs inside this one and they have you can do some more customization inside the grape chase builder that kind of appearance they have provided you so let's click on this one and if you see once you click on this one so you're gonna see this kind of interface so earlier we used to see like, there was a grape drop which was built inside the grape chairs so inside that builder there was some kind of customization and we could have used multiple features over there let me just show you the grape drop as well if we click on this one this kind of interface we can we could have seen over there inside the grape shop so it was also built into the grape chairs and they like all the custom blocks and custom component types and the preview and everything like device manager style manager trace manager everything you could be able to see over there so you can try this now as well because there's a login and register as well implemented but this is for only grape drop grape chairs studio is only for the demo purpose right now it's not implemented anywhere so the grape chairs team has built this to display okay for the demo so now you can see this kind of builder and you can see all the things like all the stylings are as it is over there just the ui part has been changed over the space the selector manager is kind of same you can see all the selectors like id or uh, id you're going to be seeing inside over here like at this place so you can change the id over here but you select like process at all other state like hover state or active state you can change it from here so it's kind of not much different over here but yeah you can see this one so this is the new feature like you can rename duplicate or delete the selector from here okay and this is your canvas area where you can just design your page of the website and you can you see one more option over here so you now you can edit the multiple pages inside a single website like you can just load the single website with the multiple pages and you can just edit over here so what you have to do just need to click on this one so it will keep on adding all the pages like in the one website how many pages gonna be coming so all the pages gonna be loaded over here and you can just once you finish with the editing part so you can just click on and save it from here okay and you can export the whole project from here as well and this is your layer manager so you can see all the layers of the HTML elements inside the body okay and this is your block manager which you can see over here so all the bunch of the kind of blocks are loading over here like column and rows sections divider heading and tag images all the things so these are the kind of uh, custom component type as well so if you say like, like drag the image so you see this kind of interface for uploading uh, image so this is a modal okay earlier the modal was little different you will see one is the trackable area and another one was like you can see the all you can upload the url or you can see the list of the images over there now it's not like that you just need to click on upload so it will open your drive where you can upload the images and add url you can just click on the add url and you can add the url over here and it will list out all the images over here like one by one so the interface is quite similar but a little bit ui changes are there so it's kind of looking little interactive but the one major thing i noticed like this one so now it comes with the drop down so you can change the devices by drop down like mobile portrait mobile landscaping okay, in the tablet and this is for the desktop okay so this is how you can change it and you can drag any kind of component from here so these are the custom component type not designed properly but you can just use it and redesign it and use it anywhere so like you you want a checkbox but a label and I think okay so these are not totally designed these are just a component type that you can use okay. but if you want to implement some more blocks inside the block manager so you can just keep on adding the designed one pre-designed one and add the CSS inside the canvas related to those and it's gonna be working okay so, so then this is a new builder which comes with a new UI and looks like in comparison to other builders like the market if you see the swipe pages or webflow and wix.com so there are so many builders out there with a different different kind of features like like Webflow is quite popular but this one is a kind of look good according to the builder and you can do the customizer as well like you can change the color and styles everything of the scrape chairs is kind of really easy right now if you have like better understanding of the scrape chairs library okay so this is the new update from my side like I just recently saw the scrape chairs studio so I just wanted to share with you guys and let me know how you like it and in the coming videos we're gonna be digging a little deeper into the scrape chairs library and we're gonna be looking at how the new things gonna be working out like so we're gonna be uh, implementing some component types and their, their relatable traits which gonna be loading over here inside the properties okay so component type providers one kind of really wonderful feature like if you make any changes from the trade so you can just track those events as well like on change event on change event on click event and all those kind of things okay so we're gonna be looking at those and this is a kind of main feature from the trades and if you want to load this custom trait inside the any kind of element type so you can
can just load it by the tag name, select a name or ID. Okay, so I have already made a video on that, but I didn't get so much response on that. So that's why I'm gonna be creating a new one and we're gonna be looking into that. So I'll meet you in the next video and until then, like this, keep watching and please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll meet you in the next video.